Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. We continue this series on DFM by talking about one of the more misunderstood of machine geometries. That is, the distance between rollers. Yes, I know, I've covered that subject many times, such as a short treatment in a previous YouTube clip as well as in great detail in my Web 101 class that has been taken by 5,000 people. Still, it bears repeating to make sure that the message reaches everyone. There are many reasons to take up this topic of span yet again. First, span affects the physical size of a machine. In general, shorter is better so that it will fit in your room with more ease. Second, span affects costs indirectly if you make assumptions about span. The reason is that it then affects the number of rollers in a line and that affects initial and ongoing costs. However, where the discussion gets really murky for many is that span can on occasion affect web handling in some measurable way. It is this on occasion that we will focus on here. What we can say for now is that rollers are not needed to help the web along. In fact, as we discussed in the last clip, idler rollers can either do nothing or screw it up. Similar misunderstandings are often found with drive motors. Again, we don't need to help the web along with the motor. Motors are used for entirely different reasons, such as controlling or helping control tension. However, we digress. We need not cover the details here because they were summarized in a previous Web 201 clip and covered in great detail in my Web 101 class. Here, I will just summarize. 1. There is no optimum distance between rollers. In fact, there is a huge grayscale range in which you will simply be unable to detect any difference in performance with regard to span in most cases. 2. In web handling, it is the span length to span width ratio, L over W, that usually matters more than absolute distance. 3. There are no real limits to short and long. Only issues that tend to be more and more troublesome as you make spans ever shorter or ever longer. At the short end, we may have the need for better roller alignment in some cases. At the long end, we can run into path control issues, sag and flutter and vibration. But these are not common and are relatively easy to deal with in any case. What is more common is what I call the ugly web syndrome, and that applies, as its name implies, primarily to webs of poorer quality. Here, we might see more wrinkling troubles if the web has bagginess and curl. However, while excessively long spans can increase certain troubles, the opposite does not hold. If you have ugly webs, no span is going to save the day. So shortening the span beyond short enough does not increase machine tolerance. Come to my Web 101 class and see how easy it is to tell if it matters on your web and on your machine. People love general rules, as they are easier than going to school, reading the literature, or doing the experiment. So, at great risk, I offer you some generalities. 1. 
in the great majority of cases on your machine, span matters very little compared to other issues. In those great majority of cases, focus on span is distracting, waste time, and waste money. Two, there are a fair number of cases where span matters not at all. Most of these fall in the categories of very thick or very good quality webs. For those few cases where span does matter, the maximum span can be determined very easily by just observing the web in the machine. You might find, as I did in a day-long survey of dozens of machines in one very large heavy textile plant, that you could come up with a very easy design rule, such as for this range of products. 10 feet is clearly safe and 20 feet is clearly risky. So new machines, we hold the bands to 10 feet or less when possible. On existing machines, we let the web speak for itself on a case-by-case -case basis when the span exceeds 10 feet. Before we leave this not-so-important topic, I want to make sure that we don't succumb to a false dilemma. As I teach in my critical thinking class, a false dilemma is a fallacy or error in thinking that supposes that there are only two choices, usually both ugly. There is no dilemma at the design stage. At the design stage, it is not long spans or many rollers. We want neither. What we want is a compact machine with few rollers and with reasonable spans and reasonable access. It is the engineer's responsibility at the very initial layout stage to make sure everything reasonable is done before moving on. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical video series. If any of this does not make sense, please come to my Web 101 short course where the subject is covered in detail. Stay tuned for the next clip when we talk about a much more serious discussion of distance, and that is the one between key processing steps, such as between slitting and winding. There, length does matter.